joining together of Kelsey and Dustin in Christian marriage. The covenant was established by God, who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee, and in his sacrificial love gave us the example for love of husband and wife. Dustin and Kelsey come together to give themselves to one another in holy covenant. I ask you each now, in the presence of God, and these people to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, who calls us into union with himself as acknowledged in your baptisms. Kelsey, will you have Dustin to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage 
will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful to him, as long as you both shall live. I will. Dustin, will you have Kelsey to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort and honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful to her, as long as you both shall live? I will. The marriage of Kelsey and Dustin unites two families and creates a new one. They ask your blessing. Will all of you do, by God's grace, everything in your power to uphold them and care for these two persons in their marriage? Yes. Very good. Be seated. <laughs> Who presents this person, this woman? Her mother and I. Join with me in prayer. Lord be with you. Let us pray. All of God's people, you're the true light and illuminating everyone. You show us the way, the truth, and the life. Your love, even when we're disobedient, sustained us with your Holy Spirit. We rejoice in this life in the midst of our lives. We praise you for your presence with us, especially in this act, in this Solomon covenant. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the words of Holy Scripture, Corinthians. If I speak in tongues, and of mortals, and of angels, and do not have love, I am a noisy, gong, and clanging cymbal. If I have prophetic powers, and understand all the mysteries, and all the knowledge, and have all faith, as so to move mountains, and give away all my possessions, and hand my body over, so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is never envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they shall cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, we prophesy only in part, but when the complete comes, the partial shall end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. Then I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, then we shall see God face to face. Now I know only in part, but then I will be fully known, even as I've been fully known. Now faith, hope, and love abide these three but the greatest of these is love. You'll bow for a moment of prayer with me. Dear God, be with us now. <laughs> may they hear your words and not mine, and may the meditations of all our hearts be open and pleasing to your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In a few moments for both of you, the time of I and me will be over. It will be we from here on. And be mindful of that as you act together, honestly and truthfully celebrate your time together, your love together, and your life together. When we talk of love, especially at weddings, we tend to think of hearts and valentines. But love is much more than feelings. Paul wrote these wonderful words to a whole group of people in Corinth, in Greece. Notice that Paul never talks about feelings. Everything in these words are actions, not feelings, because they change. Love does not do some actions. Love is never envious or boastful or rude. Love does do some actions. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. The greatest model of love is Jesus Christ. He is the ultimate action. He'll die on a cross because he loves so much. That is love in action. It's because of that loving action we gather as your church in this place to celebrate love this day. Sure, we know you'll have good feelings towards each other this day, but I warn you there'll be days when you won't feel so good towards each other. <laughs> and you'll say, I don't feel love anymore. It's in these days that feeling good about each other is not enough. You must abide in love and action, even in the difficult times. In those days, love goes into action. Christ's loving ways act in patience, even when you don't feel like being patient. They act in kindness, when even you don't feel like being kind. 
That's the kind of Christ and love God bears for each of us. And that's the kind of love that will survive and create a lasting marriage based on that kind of love in action. I wish you for loving feelings this day. But as I told you when we entered into counseling, I don't do weddings, I do marriages. But most of all, I wish for your marriage based in love that it's acted out in caring for each other and others. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, giver of all grace, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit, Kelsey and Dustin, who come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and with one another all the days of their lives, that they may reach out in concern and service to the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Dustin. I, Dustin. Take you, Kelsey. Take you, Kelsey. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. You ready? Ready. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Kelsey. I, Kelsey. Take you, Dustin. Take you, Dustin. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Okay. Rings. <laughs> All right. Who wants to go first? She goes first. Okay. Put the okay. ring on his and put it halfway down. Hold on. Left hand. Left, left hand. hand. Oh. Left I, is I this. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, this is left. Okay. okay. Put it down. It's that stop there. Okay. Ready? Ready. I'll stop it. Mm -hmm. Twist it. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Bless the Lord, the giving of these rings that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Ready? Yeah. No, no, you have to. Oh. <laughs> Repeat after me. Okay. Dustin, I give you this ring. Dustin, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Ready? Oh, halfway down. There you go. Stop. Ready? Kelsey. I give you this ring. Kelsey, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Now the couple would like to share some vows with each other. Dustin, it was our third date when my soul spoke up and told me to start paying attention. It told me that there was something special about you. Now, three years later, I look back and I am so grateful. I am so grateful for the way you quiet my mind when I feel like I'm carrying the weight of the world. I'm grateful for the way you support me and how on some of my hardest days, you have made me feel invincible. I love you for everything that you are and for everything that we will grow together to be. I feel like I've been waiting a lifetime for someone to see the most honest and raw parts of me, and I can't thank God enough for leading me to you. I love making plans with you, talking about the future, and dreaming of all the amazing things we will do together. You make me want to be 
my very best self and to be the wife that an amazing man like you deserves. From this day forward, I promise to love you fiercely, to encourage you and to challenge you and push you to be your best self. I promise to be by your side on your best days and to hold you until we make it through some of our toughest storms. I promise to follow you wherever life takes us and to be devoted to you as we build our life on all the blessings God has already given us. I can't promise I won't ever fight with you, but I swear on every ounce of who I am that I will fight for you every day for the rest of our lives. You have set my world on fire, and with its light, you have led me home. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, and I love you. Hers is better than mine. <laughs> you want me to go on? <laughs> All right. Okay. I just read? Yep. <laughs> All right. You got it? It's different, but it's, yeah. It's good. Sunday, September 22nd, 2019. It was Youth Sunday at DeSoto United Methodist Church. I was sitting in the congregation with my friends Rich and Chrissy, and you were leading the youth service. I knew you were nervous about preaching, as you always are, but I, I knew that you were going to do great. Before that, though, you were playing guitar and singing with some of your youth. As you were picking up the guitar, Rich leans over and asks, is she a good singer? And I sarcastically replied, I hope so, because if not, this isn't going to work. <laughs> you started playing, and when you sang, my jaw dropped. I had one of those out-of-body experiences listening to you play. Rich elbowed me, and I tried to compose myself and not look like a babbling fool watching you sing. You were up on stage, leading your youth, your church, and your family in worship, and I knew right then and there that you were different than anyone else I had ever met. I knew you were someone special. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. I believe God brought us together at the exact right time that we needed to meet. And his fingerprints are sprinkled throughout the last three years of our lives, signifying that we are following his path for us. You have pushed me to be a better person You've encouraged me when I'm unsure of myself, and I'm braver when you're by my side. You're a fierce woman who stands up for what's right and is always ready to fight for anyone you love. I'm glad I'm always on your side. <laughs> you care for my family just like they're your own. You're selfless and love, love the way Christ loves. You're a great leader, teacher, friend, and one of the hardest workers I know. And you're an amazing cook. <laughs> I always look forward to trying your latest recipes. You support me and encourage me in all that I do, and it really makes me feel special. Kelsey, I love you. I'm so glad that God led us to each other, and I look forward to all of our adventures, big and small, with you right by my side. each other's hands. There you, go. you have declared your consent and vows before God and this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you with his grace. Now Kelsey and Dustin have given themselves to each other by solemn vows. With the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Amen. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> and I'd like to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Dustin Caps. <laughs> Wanna be there with no voices in your head Loud enough to make you lose your mind Just the same when you're dominating the day I want to be the one who's by your side You know my love is not the jealous type It doesn't matter if we win or lose Oh, I can 
stay where I come No matter where you're coming from I can be the one to let you choose I wanna hold you close But never hold you back Just like the banks to the river And if you ever feel like you are not enough I'm gonna break all your mirrors Wanna be there when the darkness closes in To make the truth a little clearer I Wanna hold you close but never hold you back I'll be the banks for your river Control of that. But everybody needs a voice they can follow. When the water and the winds get bad, you know my love is not the jealous type. And it don't matter if we win or lose. Oh, I can push or I can pull, no matter what you're trying to do. As long as I can flow along with you, I wanna hold you close but never hold you back. Just like the banks do the river. If you ever feel like you are not enough, I'm gonna break all your mirrors. I wanna be there when the darkness closes in to make the truth a little clearer. I wanna hold you close but never hold you back. I'll be the banks for your river. You need my help But you don't have to do it all by yourself So baby, when the current gets strong You need somewhere to rest your bones I wanna be there for you I wanna be strong for you Like the banks to the river And if you ever feel like you are not enough I'm gonna break all your mirrors I wanna be there when the darkness closes in To make the truth a little clearer I wanna hold you close but never hold you back Be the banks for your river You know, Patty and I are so happy that you could be here to celebrate with us and uh, Dale and Mindy and the celebration of the marriage of Dustin and Kelsey. You know, I feel so blessed that God chose me to be Kelsey's dad. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> no, you know, Kelsey and I used to get in so much trouble when she was younger. We would, you know, for instance, we'd be going, you know, shopping at the mall with Patty, and <laughs> we would go to a, a store, you know, a department store, and shopping for clothes. <clears throat> and uh, Kelsey and I would get bored, you know, because it was clothes, it wasn't toys. And so uh, we'd start a little game to where we would nudge each other. And then uh, the nudge became a push, and the push became a shove, almost to where we were trying to shove each other into the racks of clothes that we were walking by. <laughs> then we would get the look from Patty. She didn't say anything, but she said, stop it. And so we would stop that and take it up another level. And we would make fart noises trying to blame each other. <laughs> and then we got looks from everyone else. But, <laughs> but uh, Dustin is a good man with a great family, raised by great parents. 
And you know, when Dustin was growing up, I didn't know him when Kelsey was little, but I would pray for him. And I would pray that he would be someone that would come to Kelsey, that would be someone that would love her and respect her. And you know, well, really just someone that would make me happy. No, <laughs> someone that would make her happy. <laughs> and Kelsey, you know, I prayed for her as well that she would find that someone who would love her and cherish her and uh, just take care of her. And so, you know, if you look and see what happened here, you know, it's been a long while waiting, but, you know, prayers are answered. So, if you will, at this time, raise a glass of whatever you're drinking and join me <laughs> and a toast to Kelsey and Dustin. May God richly bless you and grant you joy and peace and love forever. Amen. Just a, a few thoughts about Dustin and, and Kelsey. Uh, Dustin, I, I don't remember a time when I didn't know Dustin. Uh, pretty much since I was born, I, I have known Dustin gotten to know Dustin over our 34 years of life together. Um, he's always been there. We've, we've seen a lot of life together. He's been there for me through uh, ups and downs and, and uh, every high of life, every low of life. I, can, I know I can always count on Dustin uh, to be there for me. Grew up together at church, uh, youth group, summer camp, been in a band together, made a lot of videos that nobody needs to see. But... <laughs> yeah, every sport. Uh, even though we didn't go to high school together, Dustin would show up at my school for lunch in his bus that you see out there. Everybody knew Dustin was there because the bus was there. Uh, everybody loved Dustin. Always a good time. If you know Dustin, you know if you're around him, it's always going to be fun, always going to be a memory made or something like that. Um, and on that point, he brings people together. I mean, we're all in this room because of Dustin and Kelsey. Um, and uh, <laughs> I know it drove him nuts sometimes in high school, but I knew I could always count on him to be like, hey, what are we doing? Let's get together. I, and <laughs> Dustin and, and me and Alan and Scott all grew up together, and, and I knew I could always count on him to, uh, to bring us together. and and we'd always have a good time. But um, So when I was thinking about what to say tonight, uh, one word always came to mind, and that was loyal. Dustin is a loyal friend. Uh, he's a friend that you can always just pick up where you left off, someone you can count on, and um, if he says he's going to do something, he's always going to come through and do that. And I think it's a tribute to who he is that no matter where he's gone in life, whether it's high school, OC, or any of the jobs that he's been at since then, he's always making friends for life. He's always bringing people along with him on that journey wherever he is. Um, now, I always wondered who Dustin was going to marry. <laughs> and when I, knew, uh, when I heard about Kelsey, I knew that uh, he was the right person for him. And by the way he talked about her, I just knew that you were the one. And, and I'm so glad that we're all here today to uh, celebrate you both. Um, and I'll go back to that word loyal. Uh, Dustin, I know that the loyalty you have in friendship with so many people here is going to carry over into your marriage and help make you a great husband. Um, my prayer for each of you is that you would put God first in your life um, and put each other first uh, each day. Um, listening to your, uh, your vows tonight really just illuminated for me that you both see each other for who you are. Um, I'm just proud of the person that you've become, and, and I know that you're going to be a great, um, a great husband. And, um, and I know that if you put God at the center of, of who you both are in your marriage, that he'll carry you through no matter what. Um, and you'll just be able to make it through anything. And I just can't wait to see the journey that you're both going on together. And um, again, just so excited for both of you. So uh, if you'll all just uh, raise your glass to uh, Dustin and Kelsey. You're here. Thank you, Will. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, if you pass that microphone over to Stacy, everybody say hi, Stacy. Okay. Ah, when mommy and daddy brought you home from the hospital, 
Not only did I become a big sister, but I gained a forever friend. And I know we've been through so much together, and I'm so thankful that I've had you by my side through all the ups and downs. And watching Kelsey date over the years, I've always prayed she would find someone who could keep up with her wit, her funny sense of humor, her strength, and most important, her faith. And Q and Dustin. Dustin, I've never seen Kelsey shine the way she does when she's with you. And I'm so grateful you guys found each other. And with that, there's only one more thing to say, officially say. Welcome to the family, Uncle Dustin. We love you guys. Cheers. for the way you quiet my mind when I feel like I'm carrying the weight of the world. I'm grateful for the way you support me and how on some of my hardest days you have made me feel invincible. I love you for everything that you are and for everything that we will grow together to be. I feel like I've been waiting a lifetime for someone to see the most honest and raw parts of me and I can't thank God enough for leading me to you. You are up on stage leading your youth, your church, and your family in worship. And I knew right then and there that you were different than anyone else I'd ever met. You make me want to be my very best self and to be the wife that an amazing man like you deserves. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. I believe God brought us together at the exact right time that we needed to meet. And his fingerprints are sprinkled throughout the last three years of our lives, signifying that we are following his path for us. You have pushed me to be a better person. You've encouraged me when I'm unsure of myself and I'm braver when you're by my side. I promise to follow you wherever life takes us and to be devoted to you as we build our life on all the blessings God has already given us. I can't promise I won't ever fight with you, but I swear on every ounce of who I am that I will fight for you. 